Good morning and welcome to this Friday of the Octave of Easter. So glad you could join me as we continue our reflection on the resurrection appearances of Jesus. Today we're taken to John's Gospel, and John says this is the third appearance. It takes place on the Sea of Galilee. Peter is with six other disciples, and he decides to go fishing, and they all join him. All night they fish, and they catch nothing. Jesus appears to them in the early morning, and he recommends that they cast the nets on the right side of the boat. And of course, they catch so many fish that they can hardly pull in the nets. When we read this scene, it's hard not to remember when Jesus first met Jesus in the beginning. A very similar scene unfolded. Peter was out fishing all night and caught nothing. Peter asked to get into his boat and he taught the crowds from the shore. And then afterwards, he asked Peter to put out into the deep water to catch fish. And even though hesitant, he obeys and they catch a great number of fish. How are we to understand the connection here in these two moments in the life of St. Peter? And to understand, therefore, what sometimes happens in our life. This is a time where the disciples are waiting on the Lord. The time before the ascension, before the sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, the disciples are waiting. And waiting on the Lord can be hard. It can be one of the hardest things that we do in our Christian life. And just being a disciple of Jesus, embracing all the demands of the gospel way of life can be hard and wearisome at times. And at these moments, we can be tempted to return to a former way of life, to go back to old habits that we gave up, and we forget at these moments how vain that former life was, how empty it felt, and yet still we go back. We want to fill the emptiness that we might be feeling. We want to medicate the loneliness. We want to fill the space with something else. And so we go back. But we know, like Peter, he probably remembered that first moment when the Lord called him. And when we go back to those former things, and again, we, we through experience, we see again that they're empty, that a life without God is no life that a life without Jesus is a sterile life. It cannot bear the fruit that brings joy to the heart, that deeply fulfills us. And so, Peter realizes that Jesus is the one who is his whole life, that his life does not make sense without the Lord. And so it says he, he got out of the boat and swam to shore the moment he knew that that was Jesus. And then it says that they had breakfast on the shore. This moment of, of intimacy, this table fellowship, that we see so often between Jesus 
and his disciples. This is what you and I are asked to do in these moments of waiting, in these moments where we might feel bored or there's not much going on. We're looking for excitement. Or maybe just following Jesus is, is feeling heavy for us or weary. We too are called to simply be obedient, to be faithful to Jesus, to continue to do what he asks, whatever that might be, and just simply to stay close to the Lord, just being with Jesus in times of prayer, in taking a walk, in just going about the day, just simply being with Jesus and trusting the Lord with whatever comes next. So may the Lord protect us from this tendency, this temptation that we all experience to go back to the former ways this is a temptation we can experience after Lent. When we're in this Easter season, we can be tempted to go back to the very things that enslaved us before. What we want to do is to remain close to the Lord, to be with the Lord, and whatever we do, to do it in the Lord. And then we are assured that it will be divinely fruitful in the way that the Lord desires. So God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.